The Isle of Capri has a notably diverse history. Sailing the five kilometres from Sorrento, within 40 minutes you arrive at the Marina Grande. Capri is a rugged limestone islet in the Tyrrhenian Sea. It is 6 kilometres long and from 1 to 2.5 kilometres wide. Historically it has been ruled over by many nations, Greek, Roman, Arabic, French and British remains and buildings all tell of the conquests and significant place this small island has played, even as the seat of authority for Rome in its history. The Emperor Augustus bought the island by exchanging it for the Isle of Ischia. It was his successor Tiberius who moved to the island permanently in 27 AD and ruled Rome from here for the next 10 years until his death. Tiberius built a series of villas on the island. One of these, Villa Hovis, is still a well-preserved ruin which can be visited by walking to the northeastern end of the island. The origins of the name Capri are not clear, but believed to come from either the Greek Capros, meaning wild boars, or the Latin Capre, meaning goats. As wild goats still agilely climb the steep and rugged cliffs today, the latter has real merit. The Marina Grande is an extremely busy port with tourism as a mainstay for much of the traffic. Tours of the island and excursions to the Blue Grotto regularly leave from here. Houses cling to the hillside, proving a pretty picture of mostly white, yellow and peach against the green scrub and cliffs. The roads are narrow and winding, finding a pathway around the cliffs at times supported by man-made columns so as it is possible to traverse the island. A real appreciation for the rugged beauty of the island can be gained by circumnavigating it. Rocky cliffs tower above the ocean revealing ancient history through the weathered rock. Stalactites and stalagmites can be clearly seen clinging to the rock from which they were created well above the ocean. Grottos at the waterline abound. The most famous of these is the Blue Grotto, gaining its colour from underwater openings that shed light upwards. The Blue Grotto is only accessible if the winds and tides are favourable. Two townships, Capri and Anna Capri, service the island and can be accessed via walking track, funicular railway or bus. The bus is a small, designed to carry a reasonable number of passengers, 24 at a push, but small enough to get around the ubiquitous raised back curves that carry you up the hillside. To support the supply of goods to shops and hotels, the local municipal authority operates little cart trucks. These are able to move around the narrow streets of the town and make deliveries where normal access by vehicles isn't possible. The Casa Rosa, a bold Pompeian red house in Anacapri, reflects a range of Norman and Arabic architectural styles. It was built by John Clay McCohen, a lieutenant of the American Army, who made Capri his home for much of the time after 1870. He purchased other property on the island, notably the Blue Grotto, moving statues from it to the Casa Rosa, and also the Roman Imperial Villa of Grandola next door to the Grotto. The Casa Rosa houses an art collection from the 18 and 1900s reflecting Capri and is called the Painted Isle. The Church of San Michele Archangelo, or St. Michael the Archangel, houses a magnificent mosaic created on Majolica tiles by Leonardo Chiazzi. It features the earthly paradise from which Adam and Eve are being expelled. While animals depicted which were part of the local community are very similar in form to the real thing, some animals such as the lion, elephant and monkeys, which were not known are clearly approximation. Others like the unicorn are mythical. Toward the northeast of the island is Villa Horvas. This well-preserved ruin was the home of Tiberius, the Roman Emperor during the time of Christ. 
For 10 years he lived and ruled from the 7,000 square metre palace. The excavated buildings reflect insights into the life of the 1st century AD with its living quarters, official administration areas, rooms for formal function and Roman baths. Situated at 334 metres on top of the island, water was hard to come by. Roman engineers constructed a large cistern which was filled from an intricate rainwater collection system from across the palace. As a result, the baths next to the cistern were able to operate and the palace was well supplied with fresh water. It is generally agreed that Tiberius had concern over his security and so anyone he considered had crossed him was thrown from a place known as Tiberius's Leap, a 1,000 metre cliff dropping to the ocean below. With its stunning architecture, the Lusitola Azura or Blue Lizard of the Faraglioni stacks, and with its diversely coloured grotto, Capri continues to be a fascinating place to visit.